What is up, y'all? This is JT. I uh, went and picked up at Home Depot the rigid 18 volt 5 inch random orbital sander because I'm gonna have to be doing some sanding on a lot of stuff. And uh, I picked up a drill and an impact at a pawn shop for pretty cheap. So I have a battery. I got the 4 amp hour hyper lithium. And I've got other other of these tools on the way, but this was only fifty bucks. See, uh, forty nine bucks. So comes with a really nice dust collector, and actually comes with two sanding discs, which are eighty grit. I don't usually use eighty grit. I go for sixty and two twenty most of the time, but I'm learning the wood stuff. I'm more of a auto mechanic, so I'm just learning my ways in the in the wood world. But uh that's pretty much all that's in the box and the instructions, which were all smashed up because the corner of the box was smashed. And uh within 90 days of purchase you gotta get on there and register your tools so I gotta create an account and do all that stuff but the ones from the pawn shop I can't actually do that but this one I can so it's pretty nice it's got a nice texture to it it's almost like a basketball texture variable speed very solid and it feels a lot more solid. Uh, I was using a DeWalt. I was borrowing a DeWalt. The uh, button, it's just a press in rubber button. We'll see how that works. It's got one little air thing there and a couple there. Those are probably the air intake. And a lot of the air intake comes from down here because that's how it sucks the sawdust up. So. Maybe these are actually the expelling, but that's what it looks like. I don't think this one's brushless, I don't believe, but I think this is how you hook up a vacuum. I don't know, I haven't done that yet. It looks like that comes off. Hey buddy. gonna hook up the battery it's not too big it's not too bad with the four amp hour it's pretty heavy it's a lot heavier than the uh, corded ones this is a sander and uh, this is uh, I had I've used this a couple times but it still says it's fully charged on drills and whatnot well, let's see this uh, button action here <laughs> oh buddy is that scary? That sounds pretty good. And that was on speed six. Let's turn it down to speed one. That's not too bad. Surprisingly, it's not that loud. Quite a bit quieter than the, um, plug in one that I was using. This is all hard to do with one hand. There we go. And that's it right there. That's the unboxing and unveiling. But that's all you get with this when you buy it tool only. You don't get a bag, you don't get anything, so that kind of sucks. But um I guess I can go over some of the specs if I can find them. It says up to 60 minutes with a 5 amp hour, which is pretty good. 60 minutes of a, just a tool non-stop running. And then it's got the air guard. Some sort of technology that keeps the dust from going everywhere. Variable speed, dust sealed switch. The grip I was talking about is really good. It's actually kind of nice for such a cheap tool and as you can see 
when I pushed the button and it started up, it started up kind of slow and then kind of got up to speed. But it says the vacuum fits one and a quarter or two and a half standard vacuum hoses. So I'm not really sure, but this is a permanent magnet motor, so I don't believe it's f I don't believe it's brushless. But it has uh, free batteries, free parts, service for life. Submit your tools and your receipt. So I gotta keep that receipt, and then we'll do that. See how easy that is. I might walk you through that. Because I've never done it before, I, I, you know, like I said. But it says this thing. Seven thousand to eleven thousand something. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's just the uh, spin speed of the motor. Not really sure. But that's cool. We'll check it out.